Hello, my camera settings are off. Hello. <laughs> Got so much stuff on screen today, it doesn't all fit. Yeah, man, that Jake Simmons guy doesn't know how to wait, huh? I was trying to actually set up something cool for you guys today. Let me make sure all the audio is good. I don't know why I'm so much quieter in the past few streams. My my mic levels don't go as high as before. But music's a little quiet. Is the is the music still broken or what? Cuz I don't want the music doing that high pitched noise thing. But, I've got this that hopefully should work later. If you don't know what that is, that is my microscope. That will be a part of a future video that I don't know when is coming. I have about like five or six videos that are like mostly shot or fully shot and not edited. <laughs> Let's get some hellos in and uh, we'll get started. Let's see, Maverick, Jovi, I think that's what you told me to call you, Jovi. So we'll go with that. Francisco, Glenna, DC, Brad, how are you guys doing? We've got some extreme rate stuff, not sponsored and not sent to me for free. I paid for this with my own money, and you can find a link to it in the description, but I do have a coupon code. You can use code Jake to save 10% at their website, and I think the links to their website actually link to the SP shells that they've got. Oh well. Got Laughing LML, <laughs> Char2 Quaza, and Slip. Look at all that glitter, yeah. And if you didn't catch the uh, the short I posted recently, this is the the DS I tore in half. And yes, that was 100% real. I'll even show you how to do it because it's fun. Okay, so turn it on. Obviously, this is super yellowed. We're gonna change the screen. Don't worry. We gotta set it up. It's also in Japanese, but I've done this so many times I know how to do it. I don't speak any Japanese. Butchery. You made three macros now? Nice. Apparently it's January 5th, 2000. And it's... 7.30 according to that clock? No, 6.30. 6.24. I don't really use the 24 hour clock but once you're in this area I'll zoom in a little bit you'll that's that's a max setting two three four you're gonna want to adjust the brightness to whatever <laughs> you want it set to for the rest of time and then go to your settings and you want it to auto start. I'm going to change the language here real quick. So, put it in English or whatever language you want. Make sure it's on auto mode. And then make sure you have it coming on the bottom screen and not the top screen. And then, oops. if you want to change any more settings, do it now. Because <laughs> you're never going to see the screen again. You ready for this? I'm going to change it back to this for a second. So you can see everything. <laughs> Uh, now I feel so much pressure now that we're live and I'm about to do it, but you can just take your DS and go 
Okay, that's stronger than the first one. What? There we go. And just rip it out. And... Oh, it doesn't work. What? Because you need a game as I drop it. Slap your game in there. And it works. Just like that. A, B, R, L, right, left, up and down, start and select. All the buttons work. There you go, you have a Game Boy Macro. You just have to have a game plugged in if you want it to turn on. Hopefully none of those pieces fell into my soda, I wasn't paying attention. But, some, some plastic was harmed in the making. There we go. There's your macro. Stream's over. See you later. We'll do it the right way. But if you don't want to solder and you don't care about potentially breaking some of the plastic off, there you go. The top screen was super yellowed, okay? There's no fixing that. As far as I know, at least. But. There's also 150 million of these out in the world, so I don't feel that bad. So, we've got our two macros, but we can go ahead and do it the proper way now. It's just also an easier, faster way to go about this. Uh -huh. Let's get out the tools we need and here we go without replacing it yeah who wants to replace the top screen anyways that pink DS looks exactly like mine I had as a child stickers and all Mine, I had a the black one, the all glossy black one, and then I traded it in for a blue DSi, and it was gone forever. Actually, I think I sold it on Craigslist to some other kid, because I was like 11, probably, somewhere around that age. The DSi came out, yeah. Eh, maybe like 9 or 10. I don't know. No worries. If I'm always late, you can be late. Could you reuse that top screen for a GBA? Uh, no. I don't think the top screen really has much use. You technically can make a macro with the top screen. But, it is not really much point in doing it. But there's another spot on the board you can put the resistor to take the power away from the bottom screen. It's very weird. But I guess you could also just take out the bottom screen and then have the settings set to the top screen in auto and also do that without soldering. I don't know. There really isn't much use in doing this way of making a macro with just breaking it in half and calling it a day. But if you really don't feel like soldering, it's, it is an option. And here is my brand new, already bent somehow, tweezers. That's nice. I'll use this bend in it to peel that up. annoying cool 
been back. My first DS was a red DSi XL. Yeah, I had I had the blue DSi, and then I eventually got rid of that because, like, in middle school, like the middle school the high school phase, I didn't really care for anything other than my 360 and my PS4. <laughs> so that's like all I did, and I didn't. I shouldn't really do anything Nintendo-wise. I still kept my Wii and my GameCube, but I didn't really play it that much. And then, I think like junior or senior year, I was like, Alpha Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, those, those look nice. So, I asked for a 3DS for Christmas, and I got like the... What was it? The blue, the turquoise one? Like the launch model one? And I still have that one. I got the pink DSi when it was, or DS Lite when it was released and lost it. Never owned another DS until I bought a 3DS to jailbreak like a month ago. Yeah, I need to I need a jailbreak. I want to jailbreak either my 2DS XL or my my Galaxy 3DS. Because the Galaxy one's cool. Ow. These springs are always like super cocked back. They always slap you in the skin whenever you take it out okay I think this is the last screw then we can let's see take this connector off this connector off ouch everything's so pokey on this board. It's been since February since I've made a macro. It's crazy. <laughs> I guess since it's <laughs> ripped apart, I don't have to do it that way. I can pull it out the easier way. Maybe this was even easier than I thought. But I don't think I need anything else. I think I just need the motherboard. And I'll need a screen, but... Because this one's just not good. But we'll test the screens later. It's a really clean motherboard. The contacts need a little bit of cleaning, but that's it. I got Chibi Robo for GameCube recently. Dang, big spender. I know, I know it's not cheap. I don't have it, but it's another game that I want to play, but. I don't really know anything about it. <laughs> I just kind of want to play it since everybody talks about it. I feel like this isn't the right brush. This feels very stiff. This is my fiberglass pen. It worked really well. It's just getting a lot of dust on it. That's not normal for me. I 
I have to sneeze, but it's only like half there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. So it has been forever since I've done a macro. Uh, we are gonna do some speakers though today. Got one speaker. We got two speakers. Those are the only Mac or Switch speakers that I actually have. Yeah, same. I had a PSP in the middle, but overall stopped playing handhelds until the Switch was released. Yeah, I remember when the Switch came out, me and my friends were at one of the malls, and this was still when it was like really hard to find a switch and there were two there and me and another friend bought it like that and it's like yep nope we're getting it it's here magically somehow we're getting it okay I'm gonna have to find some wires for this, but that's alright. I have wires. So many notifications going on, on my phone. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay. Um let's do this. To make it fit in the shell easier, we're gonna want to take away the top connector, and this is the easiest way to do it. And surprisingly, I don't think any of the traces are ruined, so I could technically bring this back if I got a new connector. Not going to, but that was pretty nice. Okay. Now, we should be able to get out the resistor. There we go. I think that's all we need for now. Scott the Waz has like 25 copies. Scott's got the uh, the zip lash, right? Yeah. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, I should probably read the full chats. <laughs> oh, Erwin. I'm definitely buying the new Pokemon OLED that's coming out in November. I think it's been on pre-order for a while. I've been seeing stuff about it. The OLED is nice though. And uh, I think we're going to try out the microscope here. So that just went black. Also, this is going to be upside down. There it is. Okay. How zoomed in this is. Oh, this is going to be backwards again. Okay. Wait. Too far. There we go. Wow, this is way more zoomed in than I thought. And magically in focus. 
Yeah, everything is upside down, just so you know. At least I could rotate it real quick. Maybe. Transform. Flip vertical. Flip vertical again. Or flip horizontal. <laughs> there we go. I just don't think... Sorry if this is like giving you motion sickness or something. I'm gonna undo. There's some tabs over here that I screwed down. It's for holding the uh, the PCB steady. But it kind of gets directly in the way. <laughs> Focus this. Beautiful. Point those lights down at it. Maybe. Might be impossible. There we go. Ready for some close up magic? bad. That's not good at all. I'll try again over here. That was good. Look at that. Look how good that is. Just don't look at the top one. Boom. Look how good that one is now. <laughs> and I guess while we're here... We'll do this one. Come on, man. I didn't mean to do it like that, but that's all right. Clean my soldering iron tip because it's got a lot of globbiness on there. Thing. It's hard to tell. Let me get a little more flux on there. Okay, it would be nice to have those clamps now, but... That is such a small area to work in. Dang it.
Okay, look at that. That's pretty good. If I could get it a little bit farther. Oh my gosh, it like has sweat bubbles around it. That's so weird. Oh goodness. Okay. I forgot I had these helping hands. <laughs> so this should help. It's not going to be perfect still. Come on, twist. Gosh darn it. Are you serious? No. Okay. Dang it, and it's offset. I did it though. I ruined the print on the on the resistor. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the speaker on, which should be a lot easier. Yeah, I strip the wires first. Yeah, it used to happen to me all the time, every time I said, are you serious? And my phone would just go off. Okay. Need to turn on the soldering iron too. My hand seems so shaky, but it's really not moving. That's not that good. It's not that good either. There we go. Now we're gonna solder to this pin right here. I have to reheat the solder though real quick. Add some solder to it. Beautiful. And nope, oh, that's not a good solder job. That's not really either. Much better. That'll be our negative for the speaker. And I'm gonna swap back to the other camera. Oh, and everything's backwards on this camera now. <laughs> Yeah.
Your world is upside down. Oh no. No, that's not what I want. No, it's still not. I keep clicking the wrong thing. There we go. Everything's centered, right? I think so. Well, I never hopped into my own stream. <laughs> Oops. We got 34 people in here and only 23 likes? What's up? Okay. Everything looks centered. Okay. See, I couldn't have got as zoomed in as I am, or with this, as I did earlier. These were the things that were in the way, by the way. These were my helping hands that were not helpful at all. Okay, so we should be able to just put the speaker here. I'm going to route... I'm actually going to re-solder the, the positive wire so it's not making the wire go over the buttons since that got ripped out anyways wait oh the freaking the restrip it probably should desolder the other part make it easier to strip yeah I'm gonna do that before I make it way too short. Okay. Did I miss Mr. Dank Mayo in the chat? Did I miss Ezra? Yeah, this is the bottom half, like Rex said. Let's see. I nearly finished a solderless macro where you take the LED strip out of the top and just plug that in. I tried that originally before I learned how to solder, like a long time ago. It's only been like two years, but it didn't work for me. So I probably did it wrong, but... There we go. It is a wire stripper. It just doesn't get that small. <laughs> Plus I got that one for... Was that the free one or was that the one I paid like five bucks for? I don't know. I don't have any of the fancy ones that go super small. Look at that. Focusing on my soldering iron and not the soldering. Seems pretty good to me. I'm gonna get out some Kapton tape. Maybe. There we go. Get a twofer here. Oh, let's go.
that's probably good enough. We'll see. But I don't need these anymore. I'll use them later. Bought a Pokemon TCG for Game Boy yesterday. Was that in the picture? I didn't see it. Or I'm just not remembering. Okay. I think... Let's grab a bunch of these. Here's my... Whoa, we're zoomed in. Here's my stack of Game Boy or macro screens, DS Lite bottom screens. I think these are all good. This one's super scratched up, so I'm saving it for one that doesn't need a touch screen. But I think this screen that I used in the thumbnail <laughs> should be pretty good. We'll test it out. But you can pretty much buy everything except for the motherboard that you need for a macro on Amazon now. You can get an entire or bottom screen, I think, and top screen that are new on Amazon. And then you can get buttons, you can get shells. A lot of support for the DS now. Not really necessary to plug the touchscreen in. But we're doing it for completionist's sake. Okay, let's see how this one does. That's awkward. Is it not soldered to that bottom half? And the touch screen came out. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more solder to this bottom part here. I'm starting to think it's not fully soldered on this half. I know it's soldered on the other half. Unless I just completely broke the resistor. Try this again. And what is wrong with you? Stupid thing. This should work. I'm just gonna completely redo the resistor without doing all the microscope stuff because that might have thrown me off a little bit. But I really shouldn't have. I'm gonna clean the tip too. That just went flying. Also, there wasn't that much solder on that bottom part. I have no idea where the resistor went. Ah. 
Sound like it slid and hit something and stopped. I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna get another one since they're like pennies. And I have like a hundred of them. We're doing this one upside down for fun. That's a much better placement instantly. Sorry, you're not seeing like, any of this. I like how I put easy in the thumbnail. It's not easy at all so far. There we go. And the speaker works. Just really quiet. Cool. And that screen is not, not yellow at all. So I'm going to keep this one. If you ever want to check it out, Helder's DS Lite Flex Amp is a nice solution. Yeah, but it's also really cheap to buy a hundred 330 ohm resistors. <laughs> and I normally don't put speakers in macros anyways. I'm really just doing it now because yeah, I don't really want to. Cause this sucks but yeah I'm aware of it I just don't want to, I don't I have a problem supporting him or anything I never really talked to him but I just these are meant to be like super cheap and even though his parts still cheap and definitely worth the value I just don't I would want a lot more I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I've got a lot of these in here, so I think I've got more of these somewhere else. Maybe in the future. I got one of his, uh, I can't remember what it's called. One of the things for the, the Game Boy Color. Uh, Jake does not have a Discord server. I could make one, but I wouldn't be active on it at all. So. Funny enough, I have a DS the broken top screen. I just haven't had the time to make a macro, but it's on my list. Cool. You could just break it in half, Kathleen. <laughs> Change the settings and break it in half. Hello, Dominic. Nice. The bots have figured out how to subscribe. <laughs> oh no. This one you don't. Oh. All right. It's been so long. Okay. Sorry, guys. If you're not subscribed, you gotta be subscribed now. <laughs> what is the benefit of modding a DS Lite like this instead of an Advance? Uh, the benefit is that it's cheaper. Way cheaper. It's a decent screen for a lot cheaper. <laughs> White Steve Harvey. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to clean that up. Because it's pretty gross. Where? Why is my alcohol all the way over there? Wow, it's been nearly an hour and we still haven't done one. <laughs> this was going to be fast and easy.
Dang it. Stupid speakers. <laughs> Welcome, Jimmy. Can you make a how-to HDMI GameCube? I keep messing mine up. Uh, I just got the adapter. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So that's why I haven't done it. Welcome, no use for name. Dude, really, I really love your mods. Greetings from Paraguay. Paraguay. Welcome. And thank you. <laughs> Alcoholics be like. <laughs> I don't really drink. This is really bugging me that this, the tweezers are like, keeps bending. I just got these. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah, wire strippers again. Let's see if I can do this without ripping it out of the other one. There we go. Should be good now. Hey Jake, do you ever do you ever have issues with an SP recase that doesn't sit flat? It wobbles around when sitting on the desk being played. Uh, I've never had that problem. I have had. By the way, the this one's still available from Monday. Uh, but I've had this, it's really bright, this piece right here, I've had that bend up, but that's about it. Everything else has been fine, though. Okay. Now let's work on putting this all together. We're gonna start with the clear one. A lot of people subscribing. I don't know if they're here in the stream or if they're subscribing from a short or something. Is one of my shorts blowing up again? I don't know. Or is everybody subscribing because we swapped to sub only mode? But, oh man, I might cut this short and just do one today, just because it's taking a lot longer than normal, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Also, do this real quick. So this won't be a light tube one, because we would have done that by now. But wherever it's hanging out at, we're gonna use a clear tube for this one. It's not in there. Right. Am I missing that? Oh, it's in this bag probably. Aha. I 
I really dislike not only how you have to put every little piece of this together, but I don't like that everything's separated into a million baggies for like no reason. Like, the separations don't really even make sense. Okay. <laughs> that sub-only mode doing work. Did you just unsubscribe and resubscribe, LEGO Plays? Keep crack a lack in here. So <laughs> I was seeing I used to super glue all these in, that's why I got the super glue out, but dang it. I'll probably super glue this. I'll just save that for later. Can I easily... Okay, cool. I can easily put that in later. We'll do that last then. Okay. Now we gotta get out the screws. There's only like three screws here. Okay. Again, oh there they are. Why do you need fourteen different bags for everything? If you're gonna separate anything, it should be the screws. Separate the screws into something a little more organized. Uh. Okay. Okay, these the two really long Phillips heads I know are the ones that go in here. So we'll do that. I'm gonna be ignoring chat a little bit to try and speed this up. But I have a feeling I'm just gonna end it short here and we'll do a macro again another time. Would you rather me do the other macro off camera or would you rather me save it for another stream? I'll, I'll, I'll even do, I haven't done a poll in forever, I'll do a poll. How do I do a poll? <laughs> there we go. What should I do with the other macro? Save it for I can't type at all save it for another stream do it off camera there we go Okay. 
let that play. And we'll keep putting this together. Oh, and they just have the buttons with like indents for which buttons which, the labels, that's what they're called. It is very hard to see if that's B or not. There we go. And we should be able to put this down now. Oh wait, no. Membranes. Dummy. Light tube. Forty-one people in here. You guys like macros, huh? Let's see how the poll's doing, because I have to be on Safari to see. Save it for another stream. 67%. We can do it next Wednesday. As long as it stays this way. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to do it this stream. We actually... Oh, no. Two people just joined. We, we were at 41 likes and 41 viewers. That was nice. So we need... Oh, 45 viewers. Now we need four more likes, people. Come on. Okay, now I should be able to put this on. that there's that make sure I didn't poke through sweet yeah you can't really see the the capped on tape so that's nice the question is will the speaker get in the way of the bumper find out next time or later probably just find out later it looks pretty nice though. I have no idea if that's centered. Yeah, that's centered. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. Actually, ooh, while we do the back half stuff, I'm gonna put the super glue in for this get that that going so just put the littlest bit of super glue and it's glued up again nice in there. I'm gonna put it over here for a minute. Let it dry. Work on the back half. 
Where's back at? There it is. Okay. Let's start with this. I could put this down right here. Is it like this? No. It's like this. It's been a while. Then we can put this down like so. It's not really going very well. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why they're doing it like that. never seen a tab there before there's a little tab on the side there and there's one more right there you guys are talking to yourself so I'll leave you be DJ says hello hello I like how they include this little piece well, that's supposed to stick on to this. But it's supposed to look like that. Again, one of those things that you could just put on there. really like extreme rate products they make very high quality stuff but like most other companies having to put so much of the little things together is annoying <laughs> I don't like it but really it's not that big of a deal it's just time consuming the time is money we got 71% saying save it for another stream. That's out of, it doesn't tell me how, 28 votes. 28 votes. Now we have more likes than viewers. <laughs> okay. Is that all for that side? I feel like there's more. There is more. Where did it go? These stupid things. I don't know why they include two, just in case you lose one, maybe. Okay, I think that's in there, as good as I can get it. Is there anything else? Or do we just need to move on? I think we just need to move on. Cool. Glue doesn't seem super set yet, but I think we should be fine to move forward. Okay. We're gonna need to do the triggers. Oh, I can put these in real quick. Power switch. Drop it in like that. One nice thing about this shell, Jake, is that OEM screws work very well with the shell. Cool. See you later. Ugh. See you later, Kathleen. Okay. 
and there we go oh, that one's falling out okay it's gonna be one of those where they don't say it very well that's all right and like okay metal pieces metal pieces couldn't you just combine these especially when these rods need to go with these springs That way you waste less bags. Just gonna dump them all out. Okay. So L is gonna go on the right side. We're gonna do the right one because I just grabbed the right spring. This ah, this is gonna be another one of those things where I just don't really get it on camera. Sorry, I'll try my best, but it's really small, and I need a good angle for myself. Well, this rod is like super tight. Okay, there's that one. And here is the other one. That one was super loose. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be in the way. Okay, the speaker might be in the way a little bit, but gonna hold. Dang it! Now, okay, the speaker is a little bit in the way for the putting together process, but I think I can still get it. You stay there. Do not move. Dang it. I don't know why that well that was stuck on. But the bottom half didn't want to go down. I think the speaker might be a problem. We'll continue on our journey and see. Did you do speakers with yours, Rux? Well, you know, you did a you did a DS Lite reshell. You didn't do a one of these. Are these all Phillips? No, they switched back to Triwing. Okay. 
but we're done with those. So let's switch back to Triwing. This screw sucks. <laughs> okay, I really hope the rest of these tri wing screws don't suck that bad. The answer is they do. <laughs> okay, usually extreme rate stuff is very good. Here, I'll try it with their screwdriver. Wait, are these both Phillips? No, that's okay. The orange one is coming. Nope, it's still not there. It's a little better with this one, but it still wants to come out. There's one. There's two. There's three. And I need, I forgot a Phillips head. You can still press L, but there's a giant, here let me flip over, the giant gap there, just does not look good, this is not flush. It still works fine, okay. Even with the connector cut down, just doesn't work. Okay, let's see. Let's just put it fully together for now, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, battery cover, and then is that one? No, this is it. At least I think this is the right screw. I'm going to say it's not because it's, it's spinning wildly. Okay, well that's not it. That's trialing. Okay, well this is... A disaster. <laughs> Let's try wing to wait. Is that the wrong screw? That's the wrong screw. <laughs> okay, we'll try this one again. This one, yeah, this one just goes down and doesn't do anything. It just spins. It doesn't lock in at all. Where's the screw for? the battery cover. <sighs> you got anything for me, Rox? Well, I just don't know where you put the speaker. Because that's where put everybody puts it. Here, I'm going to turn this on.
We can't even hear it. Oh, because it's off. <laughs> Dude, that is the quietest little speaker ever. Yeah, it definitely needs the amp. I don't even know if you can... <laughs> Here, I'm going to pause the music real quick. I'm going to put this up to the microphone. I think the button press was louder than the speaker. That's max volume. I'll, I'll do it again. Could you even hear that? The ring on the... Well, they should include that unless it's in the 14th bag. I put this little thing in. And so, either way, without the with or without the ring, it should at least connect with the threads but it's not and i know with the some of the other stream rate stuff i want to say on their sps they don't have the the ring but. yeah i I agree. I don't put speakers in mine ever, because <laughs> even with the amp, no offense, it just isn't very loud at all. I, I, I don't even listen to handheld music most of the time, anyways, because I'm usually watching something else. What's this? Did they fold the? Oh no. Okay. What is this? So many extra pieces too. That's what I was looking for. I'm gonna put the sticker on. <laughs> it does go there. You got a bunch of stuff from Extreme Mate. Nice. Yeah, I, I did take the. I took the ribbon connector off. A bunch of the little metal pieces came out. <laughs> okay. Where's the battery cover? So like, and let me flip over to my view. You're talking about this metal ring right here, which this does not come with. It's not in any of the bags that I can find. And usually they just have these screws without it, which is fine. But when I drive it through, it doesn't work. Let's see if the other battery one does. So I can just swap this screw over if need be. But what did you do with yours, Rux? Oh, you used the the pink bottom half, so it didn't even matter. Does someone want a white battery connector? Because it is a pain to put those metal rings on and off. I think I'm going to end the stream <laughs> once again with uh, an incomplete thing because that's I'm starting to have a hurting back. I'm very confused. Okay. Let me look, let me clean up here, see if there's anything I'm missing. Because with all the bags all over the place, it's very possible. Yep. 
going to put everything over here. A million empty bags. There's nothing in this one. Yeah. Nothing in there. These are just stickers for the top screen. Nothing in there. I'm not seeing anything for the battery. I have an idea. But I think because I feel like there's more room in the boxy pixel one. Okay, I found my problem. At least I think. With the battery connector. No, because. This screws down into this too. So why isn't it working? Okay, if I can at least get this screwed down. I don't understand what was I doing wrong before. Did I just break it? No. Okay, now it's not working. <laughs> it is about the same amount of space? Huh. Okay, so... What did I do wrong? Try this one more time. I just want to get this screwed down. But that is impossible. There we go. Okay. <laughs> the speaker is angled, so the placement is a little off in yours. Is that an angle? I'll, I'll just look at it later. I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to do this anymore. I'm getting tired and I have to edit a video, so. Ugh. Yeah, I'll look at it later. Welcome to Young Man Struggles with a Screw. Exactly. It's not a stream of mine if I don't struggle for a little bit. I mean, otherwise, this looks good. It's a little dirty on the screen. Yeah, that's. There we go. Don't spray the screen. See, I can do that well. 
Look how clean I made that screen. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out. There was an extra amount of viewers today. And uh, you guys all got to watch me struggle. <laughs> This whole week, this whole two weeks, really, I've been struggling with mods. I've got a mod that I've been doing for a different video that I've been struggling with, too. So. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, if you are either in the Portland area, the northern Oregon area, or you're in... Like, you're just coming to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, I'll be there on Saturday. I'm probably not going to get there till like, 11 or so, because I don't really want to get up on Saturday at, like, 6 or 7 to travel all the way to Portland. I'm still going to have to get up early. <laughs> but I'll be there about 11, and I'll try and last as long as I can at the convention. We'll see how tired I get. But if you are going... Come say hi to me. Come say hi to Rux. I'm sure I'll bump into him at some point. So. Uh, Monday, I'll... Actually, I don't know. I'm going to try and do another SP. It doesn't have any UV prints, but I'll try and do another SP. I just got to fix another one. I have a stack of SPs over here that I need to fix. So, yeah. But I think that's all I got for now. I gotta go work on Friday's video, which should be about the Steam Deck. So, I will see you guys on Friday and maybe in real life on Saturday. So, I will see you guys in the next one.